expectation and uh, they don't concede they always score and uh, at the end of it they, they're very stingy in their defending being able to open them up mm -hmm. means they will not have to come they've out not considered and play. much i think yeah uh, they've only considered once mm -hmm. against guinea it was mm -hmm. two one against morocco it ended zero zero yeah you know so now that they've considered they will have to come out okay and i just hope the likes of what will be there too we'll you know chances. we've already seen chances mm -hmm. being blown away i just hope that Will be a lot more crit uh, clinical in front of goal. That's right. So when we get to that uh, to that part of the show where we talk about the African Nations Championships, we'll talk about it extensively. But hey, whenever something drops or happens right there in Morocco, we'll give you the updates right here on the show. Live analysis and updates will go down at the African Nations Championships. But in the meantime, it's Nigeria one. And, of course, Sudan 0. Gabriel Okuchiku with a superb finish. Remember, he scored a fine goal against yeah. Angola. He said to himself that he needs to get better, and he has, just, he has done, done just that, that yeah. uh, in this match against Sudan. Let's get on with this, Sean. I'll tell you about Nigeria's bobsled uh, and skeleton team. We don't know much about bobsled until Ngozi, uh, Adigu, and, of course, Wumere, they popped up. And then everybody started talking about bobsled. What is bobsled all about? We, we had them in the studio. Uh, we know uh, that some, some person will, will push the bobsled <laughs> and then jump it over. Yeah, that's the dance uh, they gave dance uh, when they qualified for <laughs> yeah, uh, the bobsled event. Steps. We don't get to talk about yeah, the, yeah, the Winter cool. Olympics. Yeah. Someone will say, uh, a child born in Africa that lives for 100 years, uh, there's a tendency he won't see snow until he dies. You know, uh, but this lady, they've put Nigeria on the world yeah. map. Nigeria will be competing at the Winter Olympics. Yeah, you know, you must, we must commend them for their effort and what they've done. It's massive. And uh, the first time we are qualifying. The first time I heard of Bob Sled was in a movie, you know, a Jamaican cool movie. Running. Yeah, you know, that was the, That's the it. first time. And Push a Bob Sled, jump into it to start. The way these ladies have been able to put mm. themselves together, expanding their own resources and, you know, going as far as, you know, competing at this level and qualifying. One has to give them you know, a lot of commendation. It's not easy know. knowing fully well that the Africans are from Nigeria. We've ne so we've never seen, you know, with the exception of maybe some places in play two states, I don't think there has any been anything like snow, really. And uh, being able to achieve what they've done, they deserve all the commendations. World ride, worldwide yeah. recognition. Absolutely. So much love for uh, this Nigerian team. And it got better when Simi Sola qualified for the skeleton event. No persons don't know about that, but it's good to know that we have four ladies representing Nigeria in Pyeongchang. Yeah, absolutely. And then we need to ensure that, you know, as they proceed to the tournament, that necessary support is given to them. Because this is, mm. this is epoch making. This is something that we've never seen before. That's putting right. Nigeria on the map and bobsled. You know, we've always heard of athletics, Winter Olympics. I don't, I'm not sure we've ever been to Winter Olympics. And now we are going. You know, I just, I just hope they'll get the necessary support. But fantastic achievement by these ladies. I and I just hope that uh, the necessary support will come to them for them to not just participate, but also excel, you know, in the tournament. Awesome. Solomon Ogba is the president of the Nigeria Bobsled and Skeleton Federation. Uh, we caught up with him. We said, what's bobsled? Can you please tell us? <laughs> Let's listen to him. We'll be right back. Well, uh, bobsled and skeleton is um, the sport of sliding. Um, basically, you slide from very high elevation down to the bottom. That's the, that is the basic fundamentals of, of the sports. But now it's been modified. To, you slide on a tunnel and you slide on ice. That's the difference. They're all track and field athletes. Um, Simidele uh, Adegbo uh, used to be a four-time All-American in track and field. Uh, she's a skeleton athlete. And she did very well. In the last two races, she was on the podium in the North American circuit, which is very good. North American is the best circuit in the world. So for you to be on the podium, I mean, definitely she will be top 10, you know, which is good. So that's it. Uh, it says sliding. You, you yeah. go from a lower elevation and then you go higher. Yeah. Up. And then, it's, it's and then so they look at the timing as well. It timing. Is a it's all about timing. Because it's not just enough to just mm. slide. You have mm. to perfect it to a point where, you know, they have a timing. If you're able to get to the timing and then the ranking takes place yeah. as a result of, yeah. you know, so. So Show Adigu is the driver and mm. then you have a break woman that is behind. <laughs> so it, it, it's a technical, a technical sport. Yeah. Technical sports and, uh, you know, we are still learning. You know about bobslide, getting information about it. A lot mm. of a lot more publicity needs to go into it because we 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 see these things and we don't really know you know the fundamentals of it. And I do believe that as they expand it, it will it will elicit more interest from people. And uh, hopefully, if they are able to come back, it will be nice to see you know teach our youths. Let's see if they can also you know. 
participate in, in this in this sport, probably get one or two scholarships abroad. And uh, you know, as I said, they were former athletes. That's right. You know, so so mm. these ladies have a foundation that they've actually you know they are coming from and yep. they have blended with it, mm -hmm. and then now they are excelling. That's right. Uh, Shewun Adigu, Ingozi Owumere, and of course Akwama Omega. Uh, those are the three ladies that will. I'll uh, be representing Nigeria in the bobsled event. She used to be a former track and field athlete for the country. She represented Nigeria at the London 2012 Olympics, yes, uh, in the 100 meters hurdles. Now, uh, she is the lead driver for the <laughs> bobsled event. And you need a lot of speed yeah. to take off. You push the bobsled and then you get into it. Uh, then um, Ngozi Oumera and Akoma Omega will be handling the brakes for... Um, will compete in the, in the skeleton. So we'll try uh, to bring these persons closer to you so you'll get to understand the sport of bobsled and skeleton. We have uh, a federation for it in Nigeria. Solomon Ogba is the president. You listen to him oh and he's, he's mm -hmm. trying to educate us on the dynamics of the sport. Let's get on with the show now. Talk about one that you know that we talk about almost about every time on this show and uh, every other show on Channel Sports. Um, wrestling. We're getting ready for the Africa Wrestling Championships. How ready is Team Nigeria? The Nigeria Wrestling Federation, they have released um, a 90-man squad. 90! Massive. And <laughs> um, the president of the Federation, Daniel Igali, says they are going for 90 medals. Oh, interesting. Mm. <laughs> the Egyptians will have a lot to say about that. <laughs> the North Africans, the Egyptians, the Algerians. Yeah. Uh, but then we visited uh, the training camp in Yanagua by also states. Uh, it's a female uh, camp. Uh, as you can see, Messi Genesis, they're sparring with a partner, Blessing Oboru Dudu, Commonwealth gold medalist, as you can see, uh, catching for breath. They are going through <laughs> tough times. You can see Blessing Oboru in the yeah. background there. Aminat uh, Adeni is Adeni. also in this camp. You all know that Odua Yadikuri is not here because yeah. she's uh, at the Indian Professional Wrestling yeah. League. So they are getting ready. Uh, they just don't want to compete. They want to compete to win. Let's go on this quick break. break. When we come back, we'll listen to the wrestlers and how they're getting ready for the championship. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us.